Hello, my loves. Yes, you are seeing my face again. I am really excited to be back here with you all. If you hadn't noticed, I had taken kind of a hiatus from making videos. I still was around in comments and stuff like that, but like putting myself on video again, I have not done in quite some time. And there were a couple different reasons for that. I just felt like I was not enjoying booktube as much as I used to be. And it became feeling like I was very stressed about it. And when I started my channel, it was a way for me to de-stress and it was a hobby that I absolutely loved. And I felt like I was starting to get away from that. So I really would like to come back. And that is my goal to come back. And I really just want it to be no pressure for me. And I think that's one of my goals this year is just to enjoy booktube. Not worry about the numbers. Don't worry about anything like that. And just read books that I love and make videos that I love. And if people watch them, that's good. And if they don't, I had fun doing it. But I just don't want pressure on myself. So I am saying that obviously I am going to be coming back. I don't know how many videos a week I'll be posting. I'll just kind of go on our schedule and just kind of what life is taking at the moment but I'm really excited to be here and my goal this year for myself as well is just to be more organized and so that's why I wanted to start the year off with a January reset video. I have been cleaning out my entire house and I wanted to do that to my bookshelves as well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some books that I'm gonna be unhauling. I have hauled some new books, so we're gonna go through those as well. And then also we're just gonna kind of pull some books from my bookshelves that I think I might want to read this month. So I'm excited to kind of start clean on a fresh, clean slate for this year. And let's kind of just go through my bookshelves and see what books I'm just not feeling and vibing with anymore and what books I'm really excited to read this upcoming month. So I think we're going to start off with the book on haul. Let's get rid of the book. Let's get rid of that bad karma with these books. And I'm not going to go too much into them. I'm just going to kind of do rapid fire, but all right, let's go. But I'm right here. It's going to be okay. Please. All right, so actually three of the books are already gone. My cousin came and picked them up. So I did unhaul The Quiet Tenant. I DNF'd this in 2023. I just was bored and nothing was happening and I paid full price for this one and I did that to myself. So I did unhaul that one. I also unhauled The Lovely Wife by Shannon Downing or something like that. I just haven't heard great things about it. I've had it for quite some time. So I just was time to get rid of. The next one I'm getting rid of at the beginning of the year is The Castle School for Troubled Girls by Alicia Schneedle. I'm just not reading a lot of YA anymore. So I'm gonna be really picky with what what YA I am hauling and keeping. So I'm gonna unhaul this one. The next one is Duke actually by Jenny Holiday. This is I think the follow-up novel to A Princess for Christmas. I had this one for a while now for two holiday seasons. I haven't picked it up yet. Holiday reads are gonna be really particular when I read them. It's really for well a month that I picked these up and I didn't pick it up again this year. So it's just time to get rid of it and I'm just I'm not gravitating towards it in the holiday season. The next one is another YA book that I really do like this author. I just, I haven't read it now. And it is I'll See You Yesterday by Rachel and Solomon. I loved Today, Tonight, Tomorrow and also some of her adult novels as well. But again, I'm just not reading a lot of YA books. So I think it's time I just get rid of this one. The next one is one that I hurts to get rid of because the book itself is absolutely gorgeous. And it is fantasy romance. And I really like fantasy romance, but this just didn't work for me. I tried it. I tried buddy reading it with Cassidy and I'm struggling if there. So I'm just gonna get rid of it and it is The Black Love King by Hannah Witten. I'm so sad because this book is absolutely stunning, but I just wasn't vibing with it. I was really bored and I just felt like I had trouble connecting with the characters. Like we were just thrown into the story and it just was not working for me. So there's no time to keep DNF books on my shelves, even though they're pretty. So I'm getting rid of this one. The next two are the Eddie in Between and the Obsession. These are both YA books. I've never even opened these. Unfortunately, I haven't gravitated towards them. So it's time to get rid of them. The next one is, I think I want to say it's, I don't know if it's middle grade or not, but I got this at my local bookstore. It was on sale. So I kind of grabbed it and I really want to try and stay away from that. I want to just stay away from just buying books just to buy them if they're on discount or on sale. I just really want to fill my shelf with books that I know that I've loved because I've already read them or the books that I have really good feelings about. And The Witchery by S. Isabel. I just unfortunately have not gravitated towards this once since I bought it. So I think it's time to get rid of it. The next two I'm unhauling is The Gracier by Kim Leggett. I think this is like a distinct dystopian type YA book. Again, another book that I've had for a very long time. The cover is absolutely gorgeous, but I'm just not going to read it. And so three from four paws in the books is actually going to be taking this book. So I'm going to put this aside so it doesn't get mixed up with my other ones. The next one is The Grim Rose Girls by Lauren Bull. Again, this is like a dark academia, I believe YA. And I'm just, again, not gravitating towards YA. Never read it, but it looks nice. So I bought it and that's my problem. The next one I've been holding on to for a really long time because it is a ballerina thriller and I was a ballerina 
now for many many years but literally i've just heard nothing good about this book and i've been holding on to it and i don't know why so we're not gonna haul it and this is the ballerinas by rachel tapkin vol fortunately i have not heard good things about this one so uh, it's time just to get rid of it the next one is a book that i was really excited for some of my friends over here on booktube read it really really liked it and i have put this on many tbrs have not read it and it's the counselors by jessica goodman this is a summer camp ya thriller i'm just not gonna pick it up so i want someone else to have it that will like it better the next one might make people angry but i've tried the audiobook but unfortunately music in books is just something that i don't like i don't think i've ever read a book that has music in books that i've enjoyed or it's music centered this is daisy jones and the six so i know i don't want to get hate on this one but again new year i'm just trying to have books on my shelves that i know i'm gonna want to read this year or would be good possibilities and i'm just not gonna read this one so it's just i'm gonna get rid of it unfortunately they'd get this at a little free library so i'm gonna probably put it i have my own little free library so i'll probably put this one in there i know people would actually love this book so. the next two are the martians by andy weir i'm just not a science fiction girly i tried one of other andy weir's books and i dnf'd it and it is a beloved one and i just don't think i'm gonna like it so i'm just gonna it's i'm not i try to be a science fiction girly and i wasn't so I'm leaning into my love, which is romance, romance, fantasy, romance, fantasy. That is where my true love is. And obviously I do read other genres. I love thrillers and stuff, but I am a romance girly and I need to embrace it this year. I'm going to read on Hall After Love by Tanya Brin. This was a book box book. It is gorgeous. It is signed. It has the straight edges, but I've had this now for a long time. I haven't read it. So, and then the same kind of case with this one. This one's Horrid by Katrina Leno. It's signed. I'm just, I'm not going to read it. I've had it for so long. All right, the next one I actually did read. I It was okay. It was average. It is Dream On by Angie Hockman. This is the author of Shift, which I really liked, but I don't wonder now if I read it again, if it would be a five-star read. But this was just okay. It was average. I read it maybe almost probably two years ago. I'm just trying not to keep three-star reads as much anymore on my shelf, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. The next one's Seven Dirty Secrets by Natalie Richards. This is a YA thriller. The author who wrote Five Total Rangers. I didn't even realize that. It's there. I've had it for a while. Not gonna pick it up. And same with this one. 14 ways to die, one killer, 13 victims, a million views. Not interested. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring these ones in my classroom or ask my librarian if she wants them because then she'll like them. The next one's Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. I honestly haven't heard the best things about this one. I've had this for quite some time and I just, I don't think I'm going to read it. So I'm going to get rid of it. The next one is Sadie on a Late by Amanda Elliott. This is, I think it's an adult romance. I honestly don't even know. I just really liked the cover of this book, which was why I purchased it to begin with. And however, I just have never been inclined to pick it up. And honestly, cooking in books is not something that I love much either so i just don't think i'm gonna read this one so i'm gonna read this one as well the next one this is by zarita cordova i feel like when this was really hyped on booktube i bought it but i have not been inclined to pick it up and i would love for well the ring lights really picked up i would love for someone to really appreciate and love this book i just i just have never been inclined to pick it up so i think i'm gonna hand this off to somebody else the next book was a book that i really loved when it first came out and i feel like i was just entering my romance era and so i didn't really know much but it's the flat share by beth o'leary i've just been holding on to this book because when i read it i absolutely loved it I just don't think I don't know I'm just not I don't think I would love it as much as I read it again and I just don't really it is what it is and I'm just gonna unhaul it the next one is Pride and Premedation by Tizara Price I got this because it was 50% off that's literally why I got it and again this is why I'm trying to avoid this this year because I just get books and I don't read them the next book is a book I did read I buddy read it with Michelle and it's vampires hearts and other dead things it was all right it was a YA book we kind of both had the same thoughts on it it was average so I'm gonna unhaul it the next one is the girls I've been by Tessie Tess Sharp I want to say I don't feel like I got this at Barnes and Noble maybe I did I don't know there was some really good things about this when it first came out but again I just haven't been inclined to pick it up and I don't first see myself I'm really if I am when I am reading thriller and horror books I'm gravitating more towards adult now so I think it's just time to get rid of this one and the next one is a winter's promise and I got this literally for a readathon I think it was for one of Jade's readathons because it's a polar fantasy I am not gonna read this, this one so it's time to unhaul unhauled over 25 books my goal was to unhaul at least 24 books for 2024 and i did it so out with these books that i'm not going to read and i'm feeling good about it like after an unhaul i feel great i don't know about you but let me know but i did buy some new books already so let me go grab those and then we're gonna plan my tbr for january so we'll do it together please all right, let's talk about the books I've already hauled in 2024. Some of these I will, they were Christmas presents, so I didn't haul them all technically in 2024 already, but I have a couple. I think I have maybe one or two more upstairs that I'm too lazy to get, but here we go. So the first one is Butcher and Blackbird by, oh, oh this cover is bent. Oh, 
oh my gosh by Bryn Weaver this book has taken people by storm I feel like it is a I want to say serial killer romance and people are loving this it's and I don't generally pick up romance books from a book of the month I don't like my romances in hardback but I thought I would do it I had an extra credit so I did pick this one up I definitely think I might be adding this one onto my January TBR the next one is the first slide wins by Ashley Elston so I read Ashley Elston's YA contemporary and now she's switching it to adult thriller and I want to give her a try I really like her other books I think it was called 10 blind dates and we're gonna go i'm loving this lime green cover i'm here for it the next one is my favorite love elsie silver and this is off of the races this is the first one in her other series the one that came out before chestnut spring and this one has i want to say it's the sister of the brothers so i'm really excited i did also get another one in this novel my love elsie silver the next one is haunting Adeline. now this is the first book of the cat and mouse duet and people always say that this book takes a special somebody to love and i feel like this is for me it is a dark 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 romance i'm really excited i think i'm actually gonna put this aside because i think i'm gonna add that one to my tbr card for january the next one is caught up by liz tomaford i fell in love with liz tomaford at the end of 2023 i have been wanting to read her mile high book for so long i kept putting it off because it was kind of chunky even though i do read a lot of chunky books but i absolutely love them there are sport romance books if you don't know the first book is a romance second one is basketball and the third one is baseball this is a single dad nanny romance and i'm living for it i loved her first two books they made it on my best books of 2023 which i do have that posted over on instagram we'll go check it out but i'm really excited for this this is kai's story that one i want to go on that i'm gonna have too many books i want to read the next one is the grandma fact by al kennedy this is the newest one by al kennedy and this follows i believe some of the kids from the deal series i don't know the actual series name but i've heard some pretty good things about this one i am tempted though to go back and finish like the deal and all those ones i've only read the first one but these are hockey romances if you're not familiar with these series the next one after i just was talking about how i think i'm done with my ya thriller horror era i did get this one for christmas that i wanted and this was black sheep by rachel harris now rachel harrison does also write adult as well and i've heard really good things about this one and i really want to, to read this one it has cult stuff or maybe this is not white maybe this is adult i lied to you all i'm pretty sure this is adult because 27 dollars. i don't know i just really wanted to read this one it's a cult and i really am interested in cults i think that's a really like a niche area of like horror and thriller books that i don't read enough on and i just love this cover too so i had to pick this one up and then totally on the opposite of everything i got a non-fiction book for christmas that i wanted and i generally do usually ask for like one or two memoirs around the holiday season and i usually read them i tend to in january and this is john stamos if you would have told me this is a memoir that he just released and I'm super excited. I am a huge Full House fan and obviously I know that he did more than just Full House but I've read all of the memoirs of the actors and actresses that have written novels that were shared in Full House so I'm excited to read his and I'm gonna probably try and get this one in January I think. I'm really like I said one of my goals and I kind of been sprinkling my goals throughout this video is to just really focus in on what I'm hauling and making sure there are things that I really want to read and not just buying just to buy books. I have been noticing more that I will read books on like my KU book and then buy them afterwards which I know a lot of people maybe it's like what's the point of having Kindle Limited if you're still buying the books it's because I know that I love them and I am also a book collector as well as a book reader so all right now that we've hauled books now we're gonna set my reading plans for January so let me go get my book cart and let's see what I want to read this one please shine lights and purple sky everything's so bright turn off your phone and off your mind look at you so bright so I'm such a Camilla. Oh, I'll take you to the moon. Come on up and enjoy your pride. Oh, I'll take you to the moon. So I have some books I pulled. This was really harder than I thought, but again, this is not anything that I am constricted to. I really want to just go in and just, I really become a mood reader. That does not mean that I still don't like reading from prompts because I love still participating in readathons. These are some books that I have pulled. Some of them I already kind of talked about, but again, some of these also, I will be reading some Kindle Unlimited books too. I just don't know which ones yet. I'm really trying to, starting to prioritize for a Polycon, which is in April, which will be here before I know it. And I feel like I have kind of just like not been prioritizing those books as much as I plan to, but now I really need to like read through the list of authors again and see which ones I really just want to focus on. But in terms of my physical books, the first one 
I don't have it with me yet because it's not released yet, but it will be. I will be doing Sarah J. Mass's the third book, Crescent City series. I cannot wait to read this one. Unlike most people, second book I absolutely loved. It was actually my favorite book of 2022. I liked the ending. I know that's pretty controversial, but I really enjoyed it. So I'm really excited to read this one. It comes out, is it January 30th, I think? I cannot wait to binge it, but I already have two copies coming in pre-ordered. So yeah. I'm excited for that one. The next one is the next book in the Wayward Children series. I can't remember the title, but it has dinosaur on the cover. And I just reread the latest one that came out last year, which is one of my favorites. And I'm really excited to continue with this one and see kind of where this journey takes us. And I'm just excited about the dinosaur. So in terms of the books that I already have, the first two are from the same author. And this is Lauren Thalassa. This is an author that's going to be at a polycon. So I have a Bewitch, which is I think her newest one. This is like a witchy fantasy romance, which I love books about witches. So I have high hopes for this one. And the next one is Pestilence. And this is with the four horsemen. I've heard some mixed things about Lauren Thalassa. I feel like people either really love her books or they're kind of indifferent about them. I have books from all of her series. So I really just want to see if, if she's the author for me because if not, then I would rather just unhaul the books or that way I know which ones I would like to bring to a polycon. The next one is Priest by Sierra Simone. I am really excited for this dark romance. I know people absolutely love this one. This is a priest obviously romance dark romance taboo and I am here for all the taboo romances so I'm excited for this one the next one is addicted for now by Krista and Becker Ritchie I started this series Claire and I have been buddy reading them and I need to pick this one up I have read two already this is the third one there's like a 0. 0.5 I believe now they market it as book two but originally it was like 1.5 type book so now tell me I guess this is the third one this is a very hard-hitting romance between two individuals that are addicted to different things and they are you Using each other kind of as to hide their addictions but they also are deeply in love with each other so I'm excited to read this I know I'm really behind the eight ball with this series but I believe they have a new book coming out soon that I'm excited to read as well all right the next book I pulled is another author from a polycon which is why I have added it to my TBR cart for January and this is straight off till morning I cannot read by KG Sutton this is a Peter Pan retelling which I really do like this one I don't know too much about it but I got this for Christmas one year so I'm excited to get to it the next one is Fury Born by by Claire Legrand. This is another author that is coming to a polycon and this is a YA fantasy romance series and I'm excited to read this one. I've heard some mixed things about Claire Legrand's book. I know her most recent one has not been getting the best praise but from the people that have read this book I've heard some decent things so I'm excited to try this one. And then the next four I already talked about which is Caught Up, Haunting Annaline, Butcher, Blackbird, and then the uh, John St. Moss uh, memoir. So again, these are just books that are catching my eye that I've been wanting to take a look at, but there'll probably be other books I'll pick up throughout the month that are not on this one. So I'm really excited to be back with all of you. And if you liked this kind of this reset with me doing hauls, unhauls, and just starting off the year on a good foot, let me know because I am tempted to do kind of another version of this in February. So if you want to take this crazy and chaotic journey, please make sure you press that subscribe button. If you're my friend on any of my other social media platforms, I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and I did just do a story graph. All the information is linked down below. Stay kind of love, so I'll see you next time. Bye. Close your eyes.